Hi, my name is Colton Haney. I'm a senior MEP technical specialist at AGG USA. And in this video, I'd like to show you how lacing works in Dynamo. So for starters, what is lacing? Well, lacing is a feature in Dynamo that allows you to control how lists of different lengths interact with each other. This is very important when it comes to managing your data in your code and in your scripts. In Dynamo, the lacing is set per node. So this means that you can have different nodes that handle lists differently, all within the same script. In order to help explain this visually, I've created this simple script in which I've used two sequence nodes to generate two lists of different lengths. You can see here in my first sequence node, I've created eight items in my list, and in the second sequence node, 10 items. Then when I connect the output from the sequence nodes into the input of the point by coordinates nodes, you'll see points generated in the background. You'll notice that in the first, from the first node, there are eight points generated corresponding to eight items in my list. And for the second set, there are 10 points created from 10 items in the list. And now that we have created these points, I can use a line by start point endpoint node to draw some lines between these points. Now, when you first place a node in Dynamo, the lacing is default set to automatic. You know what the lacing is set to per node because in the bottom right hand corner, it will show you either a symbol or it will say auto. So by default, it's set to auto. Auto and shortest are commonly considered to be the same mode in Dynamo. Um, the only difference is in the way it is written out in the code under the hood of Dynamo. And if this is something you're interested in knowing a little bit more about, the, you can find more information on the Dynamo GitHub. So shortest refers to the shortest list algorithm. This is the simplest way to connect inputs. When you've set your lacing to the shortest mode, inputs are connected one-on-one, -on -one, matching straight together until one list runs out of items. So the shorter list runs of, out of items. You can see here these lines are drawn from the shortest list to the longest list one-on-one -on -one until one of the lists runs out. So the first set of nodes or first set of points, there were only eight and the second set had 10. So all eight from the shorter one are connected, but there are two remaining from the longer one that are not connected. You'll notice if I change the lacing by right-clicking on the node, going down to lacing and then hovering over that, I can change the lacing mode. If I change it to shortest, You'll notice nothing changed other than the symbol on the node. Uh, again, this is because automatic is essentially the same as shortest, and it only has to do with under the hood how it is different. So if I do that again to change this from shortest to longest, you'll notice that something has changed in the way these lines are drawn. And if I hover over my output for my line by start point, endpoint node, you'll see that I now have 10 items in that list, whereas I had eight before. This is because for the longest uh, lacing setting, it is using the longest algorithm. Uh, it is creating, making those connections for every item in every list. And if one item is, sh or one list is shorter than the other list, it will reuse the last item for the remaining items in the longer list. That is why you'll see here at the end, there are three lines drawn to give something to connect to these two here. And then if I change it one more time, again, by right clicking, hovering over lacing and choosing my lacing mode, if I set it to cross product, you'll see there are a lot of lines drawn now. This is because it is making a connection from one list to the other list for every item in each list to each other. The first item in the first list has a connection 
to every item in the second list. Second item in the first list to every item in the second list and so on until all of the items have made connections. It will not connect items in the same list to each other, only to the second list or third list, so on, depending on how many lists you have interacting with each other. Also in the cross product method, you'll notice there are no points that remain unconnected to another point. So in conclusion, as you can see in the examples, changing the lacing for a given node can drastically change the output of that node. Um, but understanding how lacing affects the connection between lists grants you the ability to control how multiple sets of data that are different in length are handled for a given node, therefore allowing you to better manage the data in your code and in your script. I hope this has been helpful. Please be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos on Dynamo and Revit, and please stay tuned for next time. Thank you.